M0FXP, welcome back to the channel. The ATS25 Pro Air Plus now has the new 4.2 Air firmware and it does decode SSTV, so I thought I'd have a little tinker. The VGC has also had a new update. The screen colours have been improved and it had the SSTV transmit update a while back. So I just thought I'd tinker. Now, I don't think 2 meters is the best band to test it on myself because two meters on the ATS 25 Pro, as far as I can see, is slightly off frequency. But I still thought I'd show you, because it is interesting. So we can completely control the VGC N76 using an app. I, I really rate these radios. They're VHF, UHF, Airband, and the way you can just watch, the, watch, the, watch it change channel. I'm gonna turn it down, and we can hit scan. And it will just scan. And it's just picking up that on a rubber duck. If we go to single channel, and then go to SSTV, the channel that I've preset. If I hold my finger on the green button, then you can go edit, and then you just type the frequency. Look, normal channel. I know it's called SSTV, but ultimately it's 145800, and it's done. Okay. And single mode, we've got low power set. So we're on SSTV. Now, all we do is we want to do SSTV, just tap so that goes. And then tap down here and select picture. It will send that, or you can just tap the screen, and which we'll do up here. And then you can select choose from gallery. And if I just choose randomly one of my gallery pictures. And then it's already, now on this device, if we exit a minute, got to hold my finger on it. So it, this works, you know, very well on the HF bands and broadcast radio. Excellent. But we're just gonna we put the frequency in there. That's nice and easy. You just go by hand band like so, and then we're gonna choose two meters. Then the mode, and we're gonna go to Digi SSTV. Okay. And then we can go start. That's the SSTV decoder there. Now if I just go start now, watch this. So it's going to start sending and you're going to hear lots of weird sounds. Now I've had, the reason I'm off frequency is because if I go, I find that that doesn't receive anything when I'm on the right frequency. And, and it's not actually picking up my voice very well either. But you can see that the using app control, the VGC has gone into transmit. So when because these are paired via Bluetooth, so it's making it send. So if I just hit start here, and we can actually select if we go to set up here, there's all your settings. But if we go to let's get it right mode, Scotty, okay. Now at the top, you, I only can see two choices, Auto or Scotty. So if we leave it in Scotty, then I've gone in here, and you can actually select Mode, and I've selected Scotty 1. And it does say S1 there. So if we hit Start here, it says wait for it to start you know, receiving. Or you can just press it to start manually. So right now it's decoding, so we'll let it get to the end and we'll start it again. And I think the idea behind this is that you can connect the ATS25 to a, a HF antenna, go to the right frequencies for receiving SSTV and then send pictures over radio. Haven't tested it on HF but this is just me just quickly, I knew that the N76 did send SSTV. Another thing you can do if you want is download an app called, and I'll just restart that again. And I pressed it a couple of times, see that? Something did come through, but not this. But we'll let it run. Uh, the app you want to download is called Robot36. Looks like that. And when, and you, again, If I if I stop talking,
and look there. Open G77 DM1701. As soon as I speak, because the phone is picking it up just from the sound. So, if I change the frequency to back to 144800, as it should be, then the sound that's coming out, and it's ultimately the sound's coming from the VGC to the ATS, and that's what, how we're hearing it, sort of the volume up. The, the photograph stops, so it's definitely off frequency. So, you know, let me know. Someone give me some settings of the best way to sort of test the... ATI ATS Pro. It's a it's an update that you can do via Wi-Fi. You just go exit. And mine's already been updated unless they've done another one. Go to next setup. Make sure your Wi-Fi is connected. And what you'll find that if, if it's due for an update, it will just tell you anyway. As soon as the Wi-Fi connects, see the green there. One thing it is doing very well is if I tap Bluetooth on here. Like so, and turning it on means it goes dark grey, not light grey. These are all off, you know. Um, it pairs instantly to my to my Bluetooth speaker, so that's good. So it's a good update, and it work. The update will work on the ATS uh, Pro and the Max Decode. Although you get more features when you're on the Pro Air. Thanks for watching my channel. Bye for now. Seven three.